Jurassic Park has certainly inspired a lot of people to become scientists or paleontologists, but does the science actually hold up bet between building a dinosaur out of DNA? The answer is no. No. Uh, <laughs> Bye, everybody. No, no, here's why, here's why. So they talk about dino DNA in this and being able to harvest it from the blood inside of a mosquito, inside of amber, over eons, literal eons. And in actuality, amber, while very pretty, would not be able to sustain the DNA for that long. It would have degraded over time. Right, and in the original movie, they say, well, you know, there's a few missing pieces and we'll use the DNA from these frogs and, and the, thus Which leading to- Which is a to, stupid choice. Well, right, <laughs> because, because reasons. Because uh, dinosaurs are more similar to birds than they are Oh, I thought you frog. meant because the frogs end up being able to switch genders when there's only one gender and then there's eggs and it all goes to I hell. mean, that's, that's one way. Spoiler alert if you've not seen Jurassic Park. That's Park. just a scientific theory. <laughs> uh, but it just it wouldn't be able to build that up. And then they put them in ostrich eggs. In, in actuality, you can't even put chicken DNA into an ostrich egg and expect a chicken. It just doesn't, it just isn't able to hold up that way. I mean, when we're looking at DNA, you think of it as being just this one sequence, like a string, and you'd be able to figure it out from there, but then you'd have to figure out what parts of the DNA are activated at what parts of uh, incubation. When when is this going here? It would be like trying to assemble something that you just you had no idea where it's supposed to go. And, and even if you could get past that part, even if you could get one into an egg and give it birth, they're not going to survive long because amongst the reasons the giant animals died out is because of the square cube law. Because as as animals as your Flat dimensions get bigger, you have to cube the volume, right? Which is, okay. so the muscle, so that's why you can't ever have Godzilla, right? Because the muscle mass what? won't support itself. <laughs> the And the reason animals could, Ooh. one of the reasons animals could grow so big back in the Cretaceous period was that the uh, the air was so much denser. The atmosphere was a lot oh. denser, and so, you, which is why you would have these giant bugs, right? You would have these four foot dragonflies, right? Because you had a denser, richer atmosphere and so it would be like the so Dr. Of, Hammond would have to like build a biodome kind of, with yeah. a different gravity. Oh my God, we could con we could put biodome and Jurassic, Jurassic biodome. Yeah, it's just all poly with, shores, right? Just a bunch of poly Sorry, shores. Sorry, I've gone completely on a tangent. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it, the science doesn't hold up. No, right? I mean the good news is, while dinosaurs are too old. To be, for us to be able to find you know, a perfect way to get the DNA out and then m find a perfect match for it. Mammoths don't really have that problem. It, it, it does seem like it may be possible to have at least a hybrid mammoth uh, in existence again. Uh, yes, that sounds possible because they found remains that there's enough DNA that they think they can work with. I think it's- And a, the, it, it would be viable with elephants. Right, I think it's a terrible idea. I think you're gonna end up with mutant mammoths that look. But what if they're like, it's fun and Jurassic <laughs> Mammoth Park works out? <laughs> well, and no one gets trampled and they don't escape the island and kill us all. Huh? Sounds good, right? Mm, yeah, Mammoth Land doesn't quite seem the same. I don't know. I, yeah, Ask the I mean, Mammoth Ski Resort how they feel right. about that. Now, that being said, and we, <laughs> you know, we're talking about DNA in Jurassic Park, you know, we did just hear this week. Uh, from scientists in the Ukraine that there are, there's a series of babies that have been born with DNA from three parents. Wow. So we're already going down the road of let's mess with DNA. Uh, I mean, it's something we've toyed with for a long time, which is, you right. know, even designer DNA, which I don't know about the moral implications of that. Right. But uh, if it's a mammoth, huh? No? Yeah. I. Uh, I'm not sure bringing back mammoths is a great idea. I'm just- That's a crazy, no, that's a very I'm, reasoned and normal right. response. It seems like it is possible, at least from that period, but dinosaurs, it's probably not going to work. We, uh, I mean, we have birds. 
Those are the descendants well, of dinosaurs, you know, right? And the original novel by Crichton, and a lot of his work around that period is about you know the ethics around technology and scientific discovery. And Ian Malcolm, his Ian Malcolm character, played by the great Jeff Goldblum, says, you know, just because you can do something doesn't you've not thought about whether or not you should. And I, for one, am kind of glad that we can't actually bring dinosaurs back because somebody would, and it would be disastrous. I mean, it would be probably a disaster, but fortunately we don't even have that decision because it's not possible with the amount. We'd have to have like a perfect genome or a perfect like right. preserved dinosaur egg. And it, that's just not gonna happen with the way how time is linear. <laughs> Audience, if we could have a Jurassic Park, do you think we should have a Jurassic Park? Matt is saying no. The audience also, not the audience, the films also seem to mean no. Let us know your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter.